so if you can't tell, I'm not exactly where I was last time we were playing in the peaceful world. Um, I've been doing a little bit of a uh, mining. So I'm currently, I'm trying to get quartz. Let's go get all the quartz over here. Ah, without catching on fire. Look at all this quartz, because I need a ton of it. Oh boy. I was scared for a second and then went, wait, I have an elytra, it's fine. <laughs> There's one thing that's bugging me about the End Realm project though, and that's that I didn't kill the dragon all the times and got all of the end portals before I started working on it. And now I can't, because I tested, I duplicated this and tested it. Ow. Not great at gentle landings, I'll say that much. <laughs> How much quartz do we need? I just need all the quartz, basically. We'll head back and we can go do something other than grind. Oh. I have to take my armor off to actually die in lava. Otherwise, we will be there for 10 years. Um, this over here is where all my animals are. Ow. I told you, I'm not good at the landings. I've heard, I've heard a little bit about it. Oh, crud, okay. Uh. Things caught on fire in here, apparently. <laughs> oh yeah, let's go fix sapnaps. Let's go get concrete and fix, uh, the floor in sapnaps. Cause unfortunately I can't put wool in his room or it burns. <laughs> Now we have a more interesting floor that will not burn. <laughs> I have plenty of grass. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. To make more grass, more moss. Whoa! But what I'm thinking about doing is adding some extra pillars, small ones, as like basically shrines for other people. But I think it might be interesting to add, like, some smaller pillars in between these guys. I probably should finish these first, though. Ow. I didn't actually take any fall damage from that. I'm just used to taking fall damage from that. Because we need to... Actually, no. What we should do... We're gonna work on the paths, I think, right now. Because I need to build out the paths. I don't want that, actually. I want that to be... Mossy, I think. Because I need to... I need to put some green in here. There's too much gray. There's too much gray going on. This doesn't look terrible. I kind of want to- I don't think I want this to be such a straight edge corner, though. Do I want to make that too wide? Actually, that looks better. Maybe? Does that undo what I just did? Yeah, but it looks better, so it's fine. But see, like, in these sections, this needs something. I don't know what to do with, like, this section. And then I have, like, this whole section here. And then this whole big section right here that just doesn't have anything. Dedicated gardens. I I do want to do some I want to add a, a vineyard a, a vineyard 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 something like that at some somewhere in here because that's like in reference to the Greek like Greek vineyards kind of thing um, And I was thinking about putting it here But what also might what I also kind of want to do here now is um, If we bring these bushes around and wrap them like this we can make a little separate section here and make this one of the, um, like, shrines, essentially. And this one, like, for, like, Mark, Jack, and Bob, who aren't necessarily, like, one of these guys, but who are still people, like, who play Minecraft, who are important. And stone goes in here. Oh, do I have room for all this? I do not. I ran out of space. Okay. We've filled up the end stone chest again, everyone. <laughs> So basically we make little pillars, maybe, well, cause this one, you're not gonna be able to see that side. So it's like here. So they're little pillars. Something like, maybe a little bit bigger. That's a little bit small. So we'll make them a little bit bigger. And maybe push it back a little bit. I don't know. But we make like little pillars like that, dedicated to some of the other, some of the people that we've missed. Like on the major pillars. Okay, I think I actually need to do, okay. I can't just, I can't settle on what I want to do. I think, okay, I'm gonna just do the floor first, and then we will work out the rest of the stuff. Okay, so this actually needs to be... This is incorrect. I have done this incorrectly. Hold on. Oh, actually, I'm a genius. I am a genius. We can fix my mistake of putting the... Okay. Ah, uh, because I built this the wrong height, but if we turn these into stairs, it won't look unnatural. Maybe, okay. I 
think I like it. I wonder if this should be wider. This feels a little bit narrow at points. Hmm. I feel like this needs to be but further out, but is that gonna just mess this up? I don't know. Let's see. Okay, that works. This section is wrong. I think this is okay. We need to, to do something with some of these, smooth this out a little bit. Okay. Minus all of the junk. I don't know, I really want to... I really feel like I should branch this to Technos. We're gonna try it. This might be a bad idea, but... Yeah, this just feels appropriate, so... Stone and stone. There we go. Okay, so these guys are all on the same side. Yeah. That's a nice- it's a subtle little- it's a subtle little thing that makes a big difference. This is gonna frustrate me. Cause this is the middle, but this one's not lined up in the middle. At least you didn't land on a tree this time? I- I did earlier. I did earlier when I wasn't on stream. And I think I also managed to do it at one point in the nether, where I just merged between blocks. It's the curse. <laughs> Apparently, yeah. I don't think this looks too bad. I think that works. So now we have paths, because it's- I like the idea of making a fountain on the other side. Like over here where Skeppy and Techno are. But I don't know what kind of fountain to make, so we'll turn this, I think, into a fountain. Okay. I like that. I think we're gonna just- I'm just gonna keep going and do it in all these sections too. I like it. Um, let's go grab some lanterns and put some lanterns around. Yeah, I like it. Okay. Um... Let's turn off my shader since this is being really, really laggy. Um, I should be ending the stream pretty much now if Um, what was I working on? Um... We need dirt. That's- that's what I need because I'm working on a thing. I did a little bit of work off camera. I, uh... Like I said, did a little bit of work off camera. Who knows, maybe we'll find diamonds. <laughs> Probably not, because the whole point of this is getting dirt, but you know. Hold on. Ow, ow. I just missed both of those. And that too. Ah. <clears throat> My voice is just going today. I This might be a short stream, because I have a headache. Yep, now I can just do this. Ow. I think that needs to be- yeah, that needs to be down. Okay. Yeah, so basically, you just do this, and then you can spread the grass all over. A lot of work. Yeah, yeah. I have quite a few hours put into this project at this point. <laughs> it's quite, quite, quite a few hours. <laughs> and I'm not done, especially because I need to- I still- because George's and Dream's are still problem children, and I need to figure out how to make the pistons work. Because I found out, through a little bit of googling, that they don't pull obsidian. Um... So... I gotta figure out how to... How to make that work. <laughs> I had the thought the other day when I was working with all the grass. I wondered if we should bring animals, but I don't know what animals we would want to bring here. Also, at this point, it has kind of just become its own thing, so... It's inspired- the name is inspired by Olympus, but other than the, uh, ring, I don't know if it's really... design inspired by... anything. This probably- I'll probably have to go in and manually adjust this a little bit afterwards, but... Once we start getting more of these growing. It looks kind of cool though, doesn't it? Just this like sea of sea lanterns. I think it's spreading. Okay. It's fine. We will continue. Ah! Why am I tired today? I'm yawning so much. I don't know why. I need sugar. I think I need a little sugar. Uh, I genuinely think I need a sugar boost to wake me up right now, but I didn't get any when I went to the store, so... 
Well, other than the- I, I have ice cream, but ice cream is downstairs, and I don't want to eat that on stream. Because I can't exactly play and eat ice cream at the same time. Ice cream kind of requires at least one free hand. And I don't think you guys watching me AFK on my glow squid farm is gonna be that interesting. Ah. We're pretty close though, we only have- we only have like a quarter of the ground left to do, so... Should be done with this, I'd imagine? Before an hour's up, hopefully. We'll see. That's the goal. I'm gonna grab all this stuff. We really need to- I need to come up with some kind of project to do with all this endstone in the overworlds, because I got so much endstone. I was thinking maybe a pyramid might be kind of cool, like making a pyramid in the overworld out of the endstone. I still do think the field of sea lanterns looks really cool. The, like, field of floating sea lanterns. Yeah, this is gonna be close. We can definitely finish... I'm willing to bet we'll be able to at least get around George's Pillar. I was following a tutorial though, and they did have a way of like, deactivating redstone torches. Like if you have powered redstone, and you put a torch near it, it deactivates. Which... Might be what we need? I don't know. I have no idea. We have... Three stacks left, I don't think that's gonna be enough. But we'll see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Perfect! I miscounted. I might just finish digging this out and then we can go see exactly how much we need. We're just gonna keep going around and around and around until all of this is dug up. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, basically six. Oh, dang it. I had a little more momentum there. Ah! I am failing this fairly easy jump. Okay. So we need six. Nope, not my, not my silk pickaxe. So we need sticks. We need six stacks of dirt. Preferably six stacks of grass. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. I believe that was how much I said I needed. But since we're here, I'm gonna grab a little bit more. So give me all the grass, and we'll just start over here in this corner and work our way back. We're almost there. And then we will have the entire floor of this. If not as grass, at least as dirt. So we can go pick up some of these sea lanterns. Some of these guys are done doing their jobs. But we got this whole side done now, pretty much. Just waiting on some of the grass to spread. So now we have grass everywhere. We probably should put some lanterns around, like in the corners on the other side of the paths, huh? I don't know. I don't know what to do. Um... We do need to go decorate Bad and Skeppy's area. Because we need to do this, we need to do something in here still. I don't know exactly what I want to do. Because I'm not- my mouse is jittery. This was happening during one of my hardcore streams, but I don't know why it's happening now. We need to change the pocket watch. Because that's not right. You know what might be more interesting, actually? Rather than a pocket watch. Maybe, I don't know. We could make it into like an hourglass? Cause that I feel like is gonna be easier to look. I think that's gonna look better. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. We could go explore a little bit, I guess? Or no. I'm still waiting on this, because I still haven't done the villagers. Because I cannot for the life of me figure out how to breed villagers. We do need to name some of the animals. I realize don't have names. I don't think my polar bears have names yet. I've explored this, right? Yeah. Okay. My mouse is glitching, that's fun. Okay, we're doing the jittery thing that was happening. I think these guys are stuck on each other, possibly. 
Nope, he just wants to be on land. Okay, that's fine. Be a happy little land turtle if that's what you like. Okay, names for the polar bears. Names for the polar bears. And I guess we'll just name the other... That? Okay. So we have Ursa and Polaris. Okay. Why are we being- why are we being jittery, Mel? What's happening? Because sometimes it's fine and sometimes it's very much not. Okay, well, polar bears now have names. So that's- that can be crossed off my to-do list. Oh, there's lots of them now. Ah, Elvin. I love you, but your speed boost isn't helping right now. Oh boy. I go so fast when I get that dolphin speed boost. I am lightning. I might have to end the stream because it's been almost two hours and my mouse is being jittery right now for some reason. Okay, so I have a plan for what I want to do today. I'm just trying to get things settled because I got a new microphone. It should Hopefully it sounds better. I don't know. I had a thought of what I want to do in the end realm, so we're going to work on the end realm project today. Because I figured out that I'm being an idiot and I have a really easy solution for... Uh, dreams pillar. <laughs> so we're gonna go do that. We're gonna do this. Actually, no, because I need supplies that are down on the floor. But we're gonna... Hold on. We're just gonna break all of this. Because all of that's getting replaced. <laughs> we go back up. See, look, it's all grass now. It looks lovely. Ow. Oh, I didn't grab obsidian because I'm an idiot. I need to test this. Oh, perfect! Perfect! Can I just put this here? I can, but it doesn't trigger the pressure plate. Oh, that does. I didn't realize you could put them there. That, I feel dumb, okay. Oh, I see an issue with this. Oh, we actually did need all three, okay. Because it's here, so what? Because you can't hit that from up top, huh? And that keeps it open. So what if we use a button instead? So basically, we put it there. And climb up the ladder. Okay, that's difficult to do. Ah! That's very difficult to do. Why? Maybe we make a different way out? That's kind of what I'm thinking. I mean, that kind of still works. We could just do it here. Maybe, maybe not there. Maybe this side. You do that? No, but you get up. So that's not gonna work. It kinda works. I mean, I guess we could just use a normal trap door, huh? Ow. Come on. Why is this not letting me... There. Why was that being such a pain in the neck? Um... That's not gonna work. Aha! And that's how you get out. And you do that. We can make it decorative if we do that. Then it's a choice. And it looks intentional. And then I don't know what else to do with Dream's pillar. We might just leave it as is, because his is technically complete. No, I think. Well, once we get the carpet in there. Cool, now it matches. Okay, so out of curiosity, since some of you guys have been here for a little while. I know I said I was doing this in survival and I still intend to. But how would you guys feel if I, um... If I, not in creative mode, but if I got world edit. It's, it's for a very specific purpose. If I got world edit so that I could copy this whole place, 
because the issue I have is um, these things. So I only have three of them and we can have up to like 20 something and I kind of want to have all of them around because it's good. It looks weird when there's only a couple of them and they're not evenly placed and everything and it just it bugs me. So is it cheating if I'd say I'm doing this project pretty much doing this project in survival mode? Is it cheating for me to get world edit just to copy all of this so that I can copy this spawn in the dragon however many times I need to spawn it in and then kill it? and then basically place all of this back so I don't have to redo all of this stuff. Is that cheating? It's my work and it's amazing. Thank you, I appreciate that. Okay. Cause it's, that's kind of what I wanna do is get world edit if I can. I have to figure out how to make it work cause I don't, last time I checked, I don't think it was working on this version of the game. It's easier, but without the stream. Yeah, no, I wouldn't be doing it on stream. That would just be a pain in the neck and probably not that interesting to watch, because, to be totally honest, I might cheat on killing the dragon, too. Like, I don't know if I want to actually go through the effort of killing it over and over and over. I probably should. It'd be good practice. Actually, I really probably should. But, um, definitely, like, this whole intersection is going to get destroyed. All the tops of the pillars get destroyed, because I tested it to see. And it destroys, like, basically all the tops of the pillars. And it's... That'd be so much work that I'd have to redo. And that's not to say, like, if the dragon goes through any of the pillars, it would destroy anything in the pillars as well. And it just, it would just be a huge pain in the neck to do. If I destroy the copy, I'm gonna back up the world before I do anything. I'm gonna back up the world and then I'll copy paste it. So if something goes wrong, I have the backup that's been untouched and won't have any dragons spawned in it or anything. So it's, I'm gonna back up the world before I try anything. <laughs> Don't worry. So if I could just figure out this stupid door thing. So I know part of my issue. Part of my issue is that I was using obsidian. I also don't think I need two sticky pistons. No, I know why I needed two sticky pistons. Never mind. I am incorrect. But what we need is to basically invert this, but I don't know how to do that. That didn't work. Huh. Um. Huh. I don't know how to do this. Um. Let's so push up to 12 blocks. Obsidian bedrock and extended pistons cannot be pulled. Huh. Okay, so basically... We have to make this two-step, which is gonna be a pain in the neck. So basically... Basically, the top one has to retract first and then the bottom one needs to retract. I have a thought. I don't know if this is gonna work, but if it does, I'll be very impressed with myself. There. He's facing the right way now. Okay, that was a pain in the neck. So this triggers the top one, which should come down when the block... When this pulls down, it pulls the block in front of the observer, which should trigger the redstone, because I saw, I did another thing to make a tree farm, and I ultimately didn't like it, so I got rid of it, but I learned something, which is that powered redstone dust will travel, so you can place powered redstone dust on floating slabs, and it will travel through the slabs, but how exactly to make that work, I don't know. Oh, what? Is he powered right now? Wait, hold on, what? Oh, that's powering both of them. That's not good. The signal can never go down from a slab. Okay, so we just need to make these slabs, basically. Yeah. And now that one's unpowered. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Okay, that's great, but that's not gonna help me because I 
it doesn't go down through slabs, which is kind of what I need it to do. Theoretically, this should work. Theoretically. Well, the other issue then is that it needs to be... The whole circuit needs to be inversed. <laughs> because I, I can't make my life easy. But theoretically, this works. So it should be, if this works correctly, this turns off. This turns off and closes that one. And then this turns off, which that torch can't be there for, and that turns off. But they're not pulling the blocks they need to be pulling, which just, why? So what can those blocks- what can they pull? It's none, of, none of the ones that I try to place there work. Do they pull wool? It should. But it only pulls one of them. Ah! This is so frustrating. But this totally works! Because it's that and then we do that. Never mind, it doesn't. Do I need to seriously move down far enough to put slime blocks in between each of these? Because then I'm gonna have to change that whole wall into obsidian. That might be what I have to do. Well, we at least managed to isolate them, so that's progress. How do we inverse this circuit? I. Because this needs to be inversed. Ah! Redstone, I hate you. Actually, I don't hate you, I just don't understand you. Well, we know the top part at least is working. And the bottom part is separate. This should theoretically be working. Unless, unless the piston is counts as part of the thing that's being observed. Because if the piston is considered observable, this isn't gonna work. Top one triggers, bottom one triggers. But I don't know how to set it up to do that. Because we do- we- I need to figure out how to inverse this circuit. Actually, I just figured something out. I did this the wrong way. Rather than having an item fall into the chest, basically it needs- this needs to be, um, so it's, um, basically there's one item in here, or maybe a couple in here, all the time. And then when an item leaves, because it turns it off, when there's nothing in here, it turns it off. So we can set it up so that when you hit the target, the item comes out of this, it would turn off this and pull the pistons back down. Um, well, let's just do this. Because I think this whole thing is just backwards. I think I just have to start over. I think I've just done this whole thing the wrong way around. Since we have two layers of it, basically. So we have one here that's the comparator system we had before. And that triggers this one. Well, no, because it needs to deactivate it. So that- this part's gonna be different. The top one's gonna be different, and the bottom one is that same system. So we basically have this here. It should just be that, right? And then theoretically... Okay, that's right. That's why I made it loop all the way around. Because it's dumb. What did I do? How did I do that? How am I doing that? Okay. Yes. That works. Okay. So, just all this gets filled in. Just all that gets filled in. Because that level is done. Right? No. Because this level also needs to be inversed. Uh, is there a way to inverse a redstone circuit? So it's... Actually, wait, hold on. It should just be... We do that. Give me the redstone torches and that. I think... Oh! <gasps> 
I did it! I freaking did it! I did it! Guys, I figured it out! <laughs> no tutorials or anything! I'm so happy! And then basically... We duplicated on this level? I think? More or less? So this works, though. This- this works. This right here works. We try. We try. And then we keep playing with it until we fix it. When it inevitably goes wrong. I don't think this layer should be wood. I think- hold on. I think I'm gonna make this layer out of slabs, cause... The slabs will keep it from... Jumping levels. So that the only redstone signals it's dealing with are the ones on that level, essentially. I'm so happy we figured this out, though. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud of myself for figuring this out. Okay. Moment of truth. Dang it. Okay, well, at the very least, we know this, this works. This works. What I need to figure out is how to delay this from dropping right away. This sounds really... ...dumb, maybe? But it's- if I ran another redstone trail over here, I could set it up to trigger a dispenser. Actually... Yeah, that works perfectly. I'm being an idiot. That- this should be it. Basically. Unless I've totally screwed up and we have to put a slime block in here. Which is not impossible. Okay, we're just- we're gonna test this. Well... It kind of worked, so it works. They pull each other down, but for some reason the sticky piston's not sticking when it's pulled, which I don't understand. But at least it works in terms of like all this, this works just fine. This part is done. So we don't, I can actually just close this because we're done down here. We don't need to come back. So this works. We just need to figure out this section of it. But it works. So, th theoretically, if I go up and hit- if I hit that button, it'll drop a block in there, which will trigger the whole thing and pull the pistons down. But it won't re-trigger the whole system. Basically, once it's been triggered, there- it doesn't- There's no way to undo it. Like, you only need one person to hit it and then the door is just open, which... Doesn't... It's not quite work the way that I'm hoping it will, but... Hey, I'm proud of myself for getting as far as I have today. Like, this is... I got a lot done today. So what What do we have left to do? That's the question. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a second, take stock of what's going on, and see... What projects we have left to work on. So... As far as actual challenges on the pillars... Um, oh yeah, Wilbur. I need to do Wilbur's as well. But we have Wilbur, Tommy, and Carl. So those three need to be done, but I think all the rest of them are done. Aside from maybe like some decor stuff. Sabnap's got the lava thing. Does he have ladders? I don't know if he has ladders. Let's go double check. I can't get out with that block there. I didn't realize that. It's okay, I guess we can do this. Okay, don't cost me my, uh... Where did my ladder go? Did it get toasted? I think it got toasted. Okay, yeah, that's fairly well hidden. And even if you sneak down here, you still have to get through the lava wall, so... Yeah, have fun. So, George is done. Dream is done. Sapnap is done. Hold on. It's bad is technically done. Bad I didn't really do anything to. And then Skeppy's... I have to edit. Slightly. Techno is done. 
fills is done. So Wilbur, Tommy, and I've told people what this one is now, so let's just say Carl J. Carl J, okay. That was further down than I expected to fall. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. How many times have I said that today? It's fine. <laughs> oh, wow. That's kind of funny. Just Dream's face. <laughs> Almost there. I think these are the last ones. And then we'll have a clean slate to work on Wilbur's. Now comes the question of how exactly I want to make this happen. Okay, so you enter here, and I basically want there to be note blocks all around here, and if you press the right ones, you're allowed to go up, which, of course I had to make it more difficult for myself by making it go up instead of down, because I'm an idiot. Unless we put them underground, and so it would like push the blocks up, basically. When you hit the right note block, that could be an option. I don't know how to make them run on separate tracks. I'm gonna have to figure that out. I can't tell if that's triggering the obsidian. Hold on. Or that's triggering the redstone. Hold on. It's very definitely not. No, this just doesn't work well. That's gonna make this more complicated than I was hoping, but it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. We will figure it out next time, because I think the stream needs to end here shortly. Oh, um, I did the dragon thing off camera. So, uh, we have all the portals now. That's not gonna help me. We're gonna have to do that. Okay, that's fine. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And I also realized that um, because of the way pistons work, because these aren't sticky pistons, if it comes back down, the block is gonna stay pushed up. But the thing is, if it stays triggered, you can only push them up in a certain order. And if you do it wrong, they're gonna mess up. But I think just because the way pistons work, when it triggers this, when it triggers the redstone to push the piston up, it should... I don't know if they'll stay up though. I have to figure out a way to keep it triggered, maybe? But then it won't, you won't be able to do it more than once. You won't be able to attempt it more than once. So I don't know. But yeah, basically you can't push open pistons. So like, if you push this one up first, you wouldn't be able to open either of the bottom ones. So it would make it, you'd have to press these in a certain order, which is great. Dreams, I think, is working. Let's see if we can do this. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this, because I haven't yet, but I'm determined. Oh, I made it. I'm making it somehow. Oh, I told you I can do all these jumps individually. I just haven't done them all together. Ah, shoot. That's always the one I miss right there. But I gotta go up and test this, so we'll try again later. Okay. We should probably put something else interesting in here. And then for Sapnaps, his is kind of basically a test of bravery. Uh, you just gotta... What? Okay, well... That's unfortunate, so... Yeah, that feels correct. Okay, so we'll have to fix the... We'll have to fix those, but... It's fine. Yeah, there we go. So, when you hit the... When you hit the button, this drops down and you're allowed in here. Oh! Okay. All my item frames are gone as well. That's fun. Okay, hold on. Oh, shoot! Did this... Oh, this is just broken right now. Okay. That's why. Did I put my armor? My armor is not on. Okay. So this is missing. Okay. I know why it's not working, because this is incorrect. <laughs> Hold on. This one also did not save. I had... 
I had the wrong, uh, Y level, apparently. Okay, because that's all I can get in a day, and I need way more than that. Because it's, I have all this. I guess we could go work on that, actually. The dark side, the dork side, actually. D-O-R-K-S-I-D-E. Uh, because we're a bunch of nerds, and, um, so we're, so it's, because we're a bunch of nerds, so we are the dork side SMP. <laughs> Because it's, we're dorks, and it's a reference to Star Wars, which adds to their nerdiness, and yeah. Just, yeah. I don't, I, yeah. So basically, we need to do what I did over there to all of these guys, but I have one that I'm currently working on. So we're gonna come here and work on this one. Okay, too far. And not far enough, because of course I messed up. It's fine, we go up the, we go up this. What did I use at the top of the other one? Was it... Slabs or was it stairs? Stairs, definitely. No, it wasn't. These are just blocks. It's gonna take- yeah, I know. And I wanna do this. I wanna do this for every single one of these. Hence why... I built a pumpkin farm and a bunch of pump bunch of villagers to get emeralds and I'm gonna get like six more <laughs> stone masons off camera and then uh, we will trade with all of them. <laughs> I think these two might actually meet in the middle which would be interesting and possibly inconvenient. Oh, I forgot there was a gap at the bottom of that. It's fine. It's fine. Oop, I fit. I reach. I can reach. Ow. So that one is incorrect. I was worried for a second and then remembered I'm only like three blocks up. It's fine. Okay, well, I'm not three blocks up, but I have feather falling, so it doesn't matter. I don't know how big this is supposed to be. So let's see, so we're here. So it's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus the outer edge. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I am a genius. I got that perfectly. This is just off center. So it's one, two, three, four should be right there. So this is just, this is, this whole thing is. Uh, to move all of this. Darn it. That's frustrating. But I did it to myself, so I can't change anything. It's my own darn fault. That is going to drive me insane. Okay, we're changing this. That is gonna drive me insane. This one is still gonna be off, and that is going to drive me insane for the rest of my life. But I can't do anything about it. It's crooked. This, this is not the center. This is off from the center. That is gonna drive me insane. That is just straight up gonna drive me insane, but it's fine. I hate that these are off center. That dry- why, Mojang, did you do that? That's- it's infuriating. I like it. This- I love this. I love everything about this, except for the fact that it's shifted one to the side. That will forever drive me insane. I may get world edit back and see if I can shift them over. Because this is bugging my OCD so much to have this off-center. Like, you guys do not understand. One thing I learned while I was making the mask is that the smile does not look right if it's not wide enough. That does not help. Like, Dream's Mask does not work on a small scale. Like, it just doesn't. Does this look right? I don't know if this looks right. <laughs> it looks decent? Yeah, I'm not super happy with it either. The mask outside looks really good, but this one... You think it doesn't look right? I think it's too small. It's the actual shape of it. We can try it with white, though. I think I have white wool. 
But like, that was the smallest I could make his face and make it look right. Like genuinely, I tested it out here like to see how small and how big I had to make it to make it match up correctly. And that right there, that is a pixel to pixel match of the one on his mask, on his skin. And that is how big it has to be to make it work. This still looks goofy. Okay, this is just... I, I have changed my mind. We're doing something a different design here because his mask is not gonna work in here. Okay, I don't mind this. It needs- it definitely needs something in here. I think I want to put plants in here. I definitely had an axe in here. It's probably there. Okay, this is fine. But this has been awesome, but I will- I will see you guys real soon. And thank you all for being here. Alright, bye!